An ex-CIA operative named Robert Aldrich turned rogue and Langley believes he is working with Perseus to assemble a spy ring inside of the United States borders. Adler's team acquired an encrypted floppy disk from one of Aldrich's agents that is believed to contain all the information on his network. You have two options when attempting Operation Chaos as it's called, each one with different rewards and affecting your story differently than the other. The first option is to launch the operation without decrypting the floppy disk. Aldrich's location is known and we can move on him anytime, but without the information on that disk, we will leave his network intact. The second option is to decrypt the floppy disk first, collect the information on Aldrich's spy ring and then launch Operation Chaos. To accomplish this can be quite the head scratcher, at least it was for me, finding the evidence and decrypting the floppy disk is different for every player as it's randomized, but there's no need to worry, I will guide you through it step by step. Needlessly to say, there are campaign spoilers ahead. The process is divided into three stages, collecting the evidence, decrypting the disk code and decrypting the passphrase. Before being able to decrypt the disk, you will need three pieces of evidence. A coded message, the front page of the Observer newspaper and the number station broadcast. Each one can be found in a different part of the story. The coded message is transferred to Mason after interacting with Kasim in the Nowhere Left to Run mission. To ensure you gather this piece of evidence, make sure to choose the non-lethal option in the dialogue. I have no idea where Arashi is. I don't think you understand the situation. Ah! You Americans have rules. You have rules. You took hostages. The rules changed. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. He's in Turkey. He's meeting someone in Trap Zone Airfield tomorrow night. Oh, oh. I swear. I swear I don't know. They only communicate with coded messages! The second piece of evidence, the front page of the Observer newspaper, is found during Operation Red Light Green Light. After making your way inside of the base, clear the Spetsnaz training course and enter the bar Drinks on your right on the corner. After going up the stairs you will find intel on the wall. Use your camera to snap a photo and that will unlock you the evidence, the front page of the Observer newspaper. The third piece of evidence, the number station's broadcast, can be found in Operation Brick in the Wall. Before escaping the Hansa Bar, Greta, Hudson's informant, will request you to rescue or eliminate a colleague informant of her. As the Stasi enter the bar, leave through the bathroom window, make your way through the alley, past the dressing room onto the balcony overseeing the square. Using stealth, make your way through the building on the ground floor over on the left, move through the building, eliminate the Stasi officer if necessary and enter the door under number 732. After making your way down the stairs and eliminating the three Stasi before or after taking care of the informant, you will find the number station's broadcast on the table to your right. Having collected the evidence, it's time to decrypt the floppy disk. In order to surpass the encryption, we will need a code and a passphrase. The code, passphrase and combination of the two will be different for every player, so copying it from others won't work. Not to worry, because I'll show you how to decrypt the disk. Starting with the code, you want to select the front page of the Observer newspaper. Sometimes the Reds hide coded messages in plain sight. Park says you're one of the best cryptographers to come out of MI6. Let's see. The letters highlighted in red form an anagram. Rearrange the letters to form one of the location that is mentioned on the number station broadcast. The letters in my newspaper were O-A-D-N-K-L-A, -A, which spelled Oakland after rearranging them. Selecting the number station, you want to look up that location and the corresponding numbers. That is your code. In my case, that was 3493. But that's only half of the decryption completed. To uncover the passphrase, we will open a coded message. We discovered Kasim carrying this coded message. 
We believe it's intended for the U.S. spy ring, but no one's been able to decrypt it yet. Show them how it's done. On the second row, red and blue numbers will appear, each forming a pattern, but also missing two spots. The red numbers from a pattern, in my case that was 04, question mark, 12, 16 and 20. Each number adds 4, meaning the missing number is 08. The blue pattern forms a slightly trickier pattern, in my case it was 87, question mark, 90, 93, 97. The pattern first adds 1, then 2, then 3 and finally 4, meaning the question mark had to be 88. The red and blue numbers combined give you a 4 digit code. That code for me was 0888. Select the number station broadcast again and match the code to the corresponding location. The location is your passphrase, in my case 0888 corresponded with Charleston. Return to the operation menu and decrypt the floppy disk to take down Aldrich's spy ring. The floppy disk will require you to enter the code and passphrase, in my case 3493 and Charleston. Then you can confirm and you got the intel. Hell yeah, that's it. You did it, Val. Now that we got what we need, we can safely move on all day. It will complete the challenge, what do the numbers mean? A clever hint to the first Black Ops game and it's part of the good ending. Thank you guys very much for watching. The creation of this video is very time consuming, although this was a little less time consuming than my usual videos. If you like these types of videos and want to support me in continuing creating, there are several things you can do. Liking or disliking, depending on what you thought of the video. Other than views, this shows me how much you like the content I put out. Subscribing reinforces your support and shows me you want more videos. Leaving interactive comments or feedback reminds me on how I'm not just doing it for myself and shows you how I can improve. And the last way to support me is to join the channel and become a member for one, five or ten dollars. In return you will unlock exclusive rewards such as digital lore items and exclusive posts or perhaps unique ideas you can implement. The more support I gain, the more time and energy I can invest in YouTube and in turn this will result in more frequent uploads and higher quality content. Whatever you decide to do, I'll be here because I like what I do. Thanks again for watching, peace out.